is going on people welcome back johnny here rim world all that jazz we can do a ritual in eight days i'm trying to get a caravan together here it is spring that does indicate we need to leave our planters here although everything is seemingly planted still a lot of plant work going on so i'm gonna try and leave planters here Otherwise, we're going to take a whole lot of people, so... <laughs> uh, we need to trade over here, but we're going to do a massive caravan. I'd like to get down to here and here. I'd also like to smash these guys and take some Dowie prisoners. Potentially ogres as well, so that we can grow these, grow this hold. Um, we're actively researching... Okay, we have walls and structure for Empire. We'll just give them basic beds, I guess. Feels kind of weak, right? <laughs> uh, doors. I'm going to work through a... F what was that? Eclipse. Jeez, that's a brutal message for an eclipse. Anyway, we're going to... In the morning here, see about getting out on the road. Just need to figure out which folks are coming with and which are staying. At the moment, I have a bit of work to do today. This... Unless we're going to do vanilla research, I think we can just deconstruct. I don't really see that there's going to be a problem with that. Uh, research. Look how fast that shit's going. That dude's got a belt of art, I guarantee bloody tea it. Yeah. Holy piss balls. I didn't realize it would speed up research like that. So I don't need strong doors, strong gates. I just want furniture and advanced furniture, but I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Medicine, range weaponry, weaving, light and heat. There's improve. Okay, so let's let's rock that one too, and then that should give us everything we need to make some fine empire structures, even if they are leaning against the mountain. That's a okay. And 17 hours in. That means it's. 6 p.m. now, not 5 p.m., but whatever. So it's going to be a mighty caravan. I'll probably try and sell it. some of these horses. Man, <clears throat> the foals are just out of hand. Like animals. Look at this shit. It's bananas, dude. They are coming of age. And, like, we don't really need to be butchering them anymore. I'm going to turn off all butchering in the meantime. Just to facilitate more sales. Hopefully we can carry everything we want to carry. How many sleeping bags do we have? We have 17, so 5, 10. Okay, I think we're good in that regard. We can take a few extras. And on the morrow, we shall go. Just checking unowned beds. For the moment, we have three. If we make a little empire structure somewhere out here, it'd be nice to have freestanding houses. The horses totally clear this of vegetation. <laughs> Probably we don't need this anymore. Honoring of Grimnir opportunity. We should definitely do that before we go. So I think we'll have an 8 o'clock honoring Grimnir, and then we'll have a let's get the f*** out of here. Except that, you know how it goes. Like, we could do volumes gathering as well. <laughs> you know... Whatever, we'll figure it out. Even if we have to make this caravan in the afternoon on the following day, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I need a caravan. I need to get out of here for a while and just do something else. We are growing fungal meds now to go with our massive amount of herbal meds that we have been growing for a long time. And then from that, we can make a medical room. In fact, that might actually happen here. Indeed. So yeah. We'll just, they'll just start doing it. What does that take to make? One of each, a steel, one of each type of medicine, and three cloth. That we should be able to facilitate, and that was a, one of our goals it originally was gathering supplies to make that happen. So then we'll be done with the fungals and the herbals. We'll stop putting these junky meds in our hospital. We'll start using legitimate medicine. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and jump the gun Aye, if i could maybe all right it is 7 a.m there's a few people sleeping yet but some manufactured meds i don't want fungal and i don't want herbal there we go now 
Let's do ceremonies. Let's immediately build a copy of this, and then let's go ahead and honor Grimnir. 100% chance of success. Because that's how badass this hold is. Even though it's very unfinished as of yet. We're going to try and bring back some worthwhile candidates to join us after this. We're going to go ahead and do a volume scale. We're going to honor all the gods before we bail here. Boom. 93%. Alright, so that was unforgettable. Did we get a new pawn for that then? Somebody was posting in the comments some interesting ideas about doing uh, new rewards for successful ceremonies. I think it's a great idea where like a comet comes down with a high chance of being something valuable and just to know in Warhammer the gods really are watching. Alright, and that was fun. Alright, we are set. They're gonna eat it is noon. They're gonna recreate. All right, let's just, we just gotta go. So form a caravan. We're gonna start by going here. We're gonna accept. We're gonna turn off automatic travel supplies. We're gonna take every single horse that we have. Are these baby mares even pregnant at this point? Jesus Christ. So all the peeps that we have, and let's sort these dudes by name. I need to leave behind some folks here. All right, and then we have a shit ton of pemmican. Don't need to bring any hay. Don't need tobacco leaves. I'm gonna bring a fair amount of medicine, 50. Planning on doing some battles. I'm gonna bring a bunch of extra bed rolls too, cause I plan on capturing some fools. All right, now, that leaves me with some mass remaining. <laughs> so I'm going to just work my way through this list and load up most everything I can that we don't want. Pig skin, plain leather. I don't know if this part's interesting or not. We're even going to take a bunch of this. I've been sort of hoarding that. Something's got to go. Pantera, heavy fur, razor gore hide, guinea pig worth a lot i'm gonna keep it it makes nice warm pelts muffalo wool cigarettes look at how many fucking cigarettes we've managed to acquire uh let's do 223 for sale so like t can go joints can go ambrosia i think we'll keep that I'll definitely get rid of this stuff sulfur sarpita coal jade will keep uranium glowstone dust i plan on using that as soon as i acquire a fair bit of steel warpstone will keep don't want to get rid of any blocks. Grudge roots are good. Survival candles really aren't worth much. Statue. How do these statues just get worked into the weirdest spots? That's No, okay, I guess those are all statues. These glowers, I think we'll probably deconstruct. I don't think anybody buys those, but these are all... That statue's worth a thousand bucks on its own. We're still nowhere near our capacity. We're going to keep that king's throne. There's a bunch of carcasses. We have mead. We... Where the hell? Are we... We're not making ale. I don't know how we got so much ale, but it doesn't seem very dwarvy to sell it. Now, it doesn't. There's a golden frying pan that needs to come with. Okay, that other golden armor is down here, too. These are all for smelting or using. These are for sale. All right, you get the idea. We're going to load up pretty much everything we can it's telling me this golden empire armor is worth twelve thousand dollars that's bananas a lot of this stuff i'm gonna try to smelt some of it's tainted i'm just gonna drop it on the road and call it done we're still not nearing our capacity nor are we even close to it I'm going to bring all of our silver for trading purposes. And anything dwarven that's not good, we're going to take. And that's good, but it's plain leather. And clearly they don't like that. Okay. Do you think they can get this done without everybody having a GD mental break? We'll find out. Because here we go. Round up the horses. I should have brought all the horses in first. First critical mistake. <laughs> God damn. Uh, hopefully we're bringing that guy too. I think I'd like to sell that guy. Hopefully we've left some people here to haul as well. I do see a lot of horses. No one's actually loading up horses yet. It is 2 in the afternoon. There's an eclipse. That's why it's so dark. Can you guys gather up these? If you take one horse, I'm quitting this game. I'm going to rage quit. There have been games I've raged quit. 
Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> Not ashamed to admit, I rage quit that fucking game. I loved it, and I still do, but I got so mad at it, I can never play it again. <laughs> I guess that's the only one in recent... Oh, you know, that's not true. Magic, the new Magic, the arena game, whatever the hell, the free one to download. I rage quit that, too. <laughs> So frustrating. And plus, that one's very, like, everybody's always doing the same shit. You get up and do something useful. You got to start babysitting them unless they fall asleep. Everybody in that game's always doing the same shit over and over again. So it's, I don't know, I just didn't think it was as fun as it should be for how pissed off it was constantly making me. <laughs> We're still gathering horses. Please tell me people are putting stuff in these animals. Anybody fall asleep again? No, it is now... Six hours later, fucking six hours of just rounding up horses. I right, but said she can help because she can end mental breaks if they happen. But everybody's still really happy, so I don't see anybody not doing what they're supposed to. I see everybody gathering stuff, and I see a lot of filth around. Oh, yeah, I think we're doing okay yet. Just keeping an eye on these moods and whether anybody's sleeping. You really got to babysit these caravans. This is when a fucking raid's gonna come in and I'm gonna lose my <laughs> shit. So Jester keeps falling asleep. I think this looks positive. The horses kept falling asleep, but nobody gives a shit about a sleeping horse. Holy fuck, we made it. Now, did they load everything is the next question. Also, can we smelt some of the stuff we don't want? So we're gonna just go ahead and start smelt weapon, melee, Dwarven shields. We're going to smelt. Uh, hand hammer, hand axe. We're only going to keep improved weapons at this point. Great axe. Uh, pickaxe. We're, we're at a point where we're not freaking around with junky stuff anymore. So that should get that stuff dealt with. Okay, nobody's asleep. Nobody's even close to a mental break. That's the upside of having a very happy and Haul and healthy and hearty hold. Please go off the map soon. There they are. Thank God. They're piling up. Oh, okay, a tortoise self tamed. He's actually sleeping and injured. He got burned and he has chaos corruption. <laughs> this feels like some kind of trap. How many wizards did I leave? So, just one. That's nice. Seji, who is a great wizard, but had to go. Look how fast these fuckers go with all those. I guess it's on 4x speed. <laughs> those horses, though, they're hauling balls. What's this? Oh. Is that what we are trading to these guys? Oh, my God. Did I did I not bring the... I don't think I brought the the whole purpose of this goddamn quest. Oh my shit, yeah. Oh, wait for it. We gotta. S no, no, no. Uh, accept. Cancel. Zoom in. Seji. Over here. I got a fix for this. No shit. Hopefully it works. Uh, transport. Load of transport. I cannot believe the whole reason. For the this is how nervous I get about caravans, people, because I've had them fail so many times. Times I think I just saw them down there. There they are, mechanical legs. Three, except you undraft, load the transport, launch, launch, uh, world. Why don't I just stop them right there for a moment? World, launch, added to the caravan. Take that. All right, we're going to go. Actually, we're going to visit first. So maybe we do this. Unknown thread, a stash of valuable items. Got five days left. I'm not opposed to that idea at all. There you go. All right. Fulfill trade offer. Quest completed. You successfully completed the quest. Okay. Where's my stuff? I don't know. Carrying on then. So we, c oh, let's actually just straight up trade with these bros too. All right, Barry's new. I'm going to start clearing. Oh, they don't have much money at all. Steel. 
That's going to weigh us down pretty heavy. I think we do that on the way back. Animals, crafting, melee, mining, mechanical arm. We can make those wide open. Do they have any magical shit we want? Yeah, they're going to buy this really expensive empire shit we've been sitting on for a thousand years. They have way better sculptures than we have. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> Uh, let's get rid of some of this garbage. First, we have to figure out what we want to buy. They don't really have much in the realm of magic stuff. Steel, I guess, is what we want. We literally can't carry too much home, but I'm looking for lightweight magic shit. We have to buy something. They have gold. Fuck it, let's just buy all their gold. That's awesome. That's just what we need. And I'm going to look at this. 22 of these goddamn fools. <laughs> All right. That didn't go great. So what if I just buy all the steel? We can carry it just fine. And then what if we sell heavy shit? These have to be heavy, right? Jesus, that's $700. <laughs> How much did it weigh? Eh, like 20 it's not speeding us up any, that's for sure. Let me just double check. They don't have anything else. Gold was critical. Steel was critical. All right, I think I'm going to move on for the moment. I think it's going to be key to get these other trades done. Why don't we just pop in over here, too? We have so much shit. So how far is that? 0.2 days away. All right, beautiful. Are we smelting all the crap we don't want? There's a good shield right in the toilet. What do we get for it? Six fucking steel. What a waste, but it's better than nothing. This is going to blow up, so we need to make sure no one's by it when it does. It doesn't say exactly when that's going to happen. 83 seconds. Probably I could have had some kind of countdown on the fucking thing, right? Good thing I had that spell. I would have fricked up the hole, and that maybe we could have done that item stash to grab those legs and move on, but... All right, 16 seconds. No, rest hug, get out of there. Where are you going, dude? I know what you're fucking playing in here. You Beautiful. Off you go. All right, point one days. Game feels like it's moving real slow. Cheers to the patrons. Shroud of Ash 5, Baba Evat, Carrie Mahoney, Corno Boater, Genghis Keith, Ginger Vitus, Grim, Groove Lord, Gunnar Arn, Ragnarsson, James Farley, Patrick Johnson, Resock, Sebastian Schaefer, Thomas K. Natasio. You guys are the ones that keep me motivated to keep adding stuff. There it is. All right. So they have a little more money, but not a ton. They have a zone of fertility, a potion of shooting. <clears throat> I mean, that wouldn't be a bad thing to take on. A magic leg. I want a magic eye. That's what I really want right now. Uh, the frying pan can go. Let's move the statues. Do you have anything else magical? You have gold. We're going to keep buying all the gold we can find. I feel like... How the fuck do we have a... Oh, they just gave me the shit. That'd be nice in an empire house. What's the mass on that, though? That's only... Yeah, whatever. Let's keep selling statues. I'm going to start with the cheapy statues. See if we can alleviate some weight here. All right, moving back up, looking for magical stuff. Ooh, okay, there's a belt of Varder. Check. Beautiful. This is worth eight thousand dollars. Ah, yeah, we'll get there. All right. Well, our capacities do. I think some of the horses might have matured or something because I think our capacity went up. I do want to sell a whole crap load of stuff still. Anything else magical? No weapons. We'll get rid of the golden frying pan. I should have just smelted it, but it, that's so much money. These, if only we had the proper pawn we could leverage. I'm going to hold off. We'll buy steel, but we're going to buy it on the way home. Let's get rid of Skaven crossbows, cloth pants. We do, like I said, I have to find something to buy. Ruby Ring or Ruin, if you remember to use it, is a nice... Fine, we'll go for it. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. Look where we're at. Money-wise, one, one dollar short. They don't love us. They don't love us at all. Let's uh, let's go trade with this lot. So we have ten point eight days of food. We're one point seven days away. Holy crap! Do we have a lot of food coming in here too? This is why we left the planters. We can't afford to frick up another harvest, people. So I do have to go for the day. But next time, 
we're going to smash this. We're going to finish our trades. We're going to smash these dudes. If we don't take any dwarven or ogre, no, let's say at least two prisoners, two dwarves or a dwarf and an ogre. I'd only really like one, one, maybe two ogres max, but um, then we'll come over here and smash this. Assuming we don't get the snack kicked out of us in the process here, we could go check out the custom Skaven bases too. Those were more recently added. Eventually, it'd be nice to take out all these beastmen too. What are faction relations that the that the Empire don't like us anymore to that trade? They're already like fucking in love with us. We'll trade with the dwarves and make that happen a little more. Ogres like us too, so I don't really want to go picking on the ogres so much. This might be gone by the time we get back. I feel like if we're not beat up when we get there and it's still there, we're definitely going to do it. Anyway, that's it. Please leave a like. If you are enjoying, leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. I appreciate you guys being here with me today. That was fucking massive. We got all the gold we should ever need now. <laughs> and uh, we're going to bring back a crap ton of steel too, which is good because there's none here. We still have a ton of mining to do. I'm sure we'll find more, but it certainly doesn't hurt to get out and about and see if we can find our own. So 1.2 days. God, I want to do some more. I hate when I have to quit for the day. It's so frustrating. I love playing this game, but it's even when it's pissing you off, it's still fun, right? <laughs>